Hello, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to another weekly Ben Plays live stream. I'm Kevin McAllister, the community manager here at Ben Studio. With me today is Deacon St. John from Days Gone. He'll just kind of stand there awkwardly in the corner all stream. Just, just pay him no attention. Oh, yeah, we have a real live person, too, coming today. Design manager Eric Jensen. How are you doing, Eric? I I'm good. Hi, Kevin. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I had, to, I had to introduce our star first. Yeah. No, of course, of course. Uh, I don't know. He's a little two-dimensional to me. <laughs> hello, chat. How is everyone doing? Motorcycles and video games. I see you. Dan, hello, Dan. Oh, and our Dan. We have two Dans. <laughs> hello, hello. Um, yeah, Eric, I'm glad you're here today. What's, tell us Eric's life story. Where were you born? At what age did you start wearing glasses? <laughs> what was your favorite toy as a child? Oh, good Lord. Okay, well, it, are, it all started back in 1985. <laughs> just kidding. I was, we're just kidding. <laughs> I, I, was, I was born in Walnut Creek, California. <laughs> <laughs> no, go ahead and share us a little background about yourself since coming to the gaming industry. Um, how long you've been at Bend, what you did on Days Gone, you know, the works. The works. Spotlight's on you. Okay. Uh, I have been at Bend Studio for 16 and a half years now. Um, my, it's my entire career. I started in QA uh, here when I was 19. I turned 20 a week later, and I've, I've been here since. Uh, I did QA for a year, uh, and then did some random uh, kind of production side of things for five, six years, uh, and then about the last 10 years has been in design. And uh, on Days Gone, I was the lead open world designer, so I was in charge of Myself and, and five or six other designers were in charge of uh, creating all of the content for the open world and uh, all of the open world systems and everything like that. So a bunch of stuff. Yeah, a lot of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did some UI stuff as well, uh, and then I, I uh, helped with the uh, trophy design. Nice. Trophies. I love myself some trophies. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, always, I always feel bad because I, I still to this day I see that everybody's final trophy uh, for getting the platinum is the the burnout apocalypse. Yep, still going. And and that's that's on me. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but I'd love Blame that one. him next time on Twitter, okay? <laughs> you have to drift a little bit uh, a little bit longer than than maybe is comfortable for most people. <laughs> but it's a good one. Dan says, "We thank you for it all, brother." Thank you, Dan. Hi, Janelle. Professional capture artist of Boozer, aka Mrs. Boozer, aka Boozer's biggest fan. I'm going to introduce you every <laughs> single time you come to stream like that. <laughs> I did it that's, last week, too. That's good. That's <laughs> impressive. <laughs> oh, and if you haven't noticed, we have a new streaming room, a newer streaming room. Ta-da! So deacons just kind of stay over there. Got a little concept bar back here. We have a lot of deacons. It's, uh, it's, it's a lot of deacons. It's kind of our, our, that was our last game. We have just a lot of deacons. <laughs> One of these streams, I'm going to just fill this room with deacons. And there's going to be a job for you to count how many deacons are in the room. But it's going off of, like, Eric's introduction, it's kind of crazy uh, because Eric and I were Twitter buds uh, for a while prior to me joining Bend, uh, just, you know, doing photo mode stuff a lot. Um, even though he was one of the last devs to follow me from Ben yeah, Studio, but uh, that's another story. And, and <laughs> you remind me every day. <laughs> <laughs> but now I see him. A lot, like a lot, like it's probably maybe maybe too much. Yeah, a little uncomfortable. Yeah, a little bit. It's okay though. Yeah, it's okay. Seriously, no, it's been <laughs> wonderful working with him. Uh, I love being here and uh, talking with him all the time. I love you, man. I love you too. You, you just touched my leg. I did. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We, we have a really good relationship. We do. We do. Yeah. This is and it's Friday night. <laughs> We're excited. We're here playing Days Gone. We're continuing right where we left off last week as we started our first full playthrough of Days Gone. Um, the, where did we, we stopped at the end of the logging camp. And I actually had to cut it. So we finished the logging camp, and then we were trying to do a photo mode stream, and I ran out of gas, and I was running <laughs> around the woods completely lost. That's good. So I'm like, you know what? Let's end it here. <laughs> so this is where we're going to be at. So... I remember last week the energy was high, 
The chat brought it, so let's do it again. And let's let's go. Oh, if this goes to thanks for watching, do not be alarmed. I'm trying out something new, but it should be okay. Hand, hands free. We got it. We got it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do this. Hey, Miss Behave, how are you? Jin Sakai, what's up? Back here again. Coconut, I see you. Hello, hello. All right, so we're going to go ahead and pick up right where we left off, which is... Oh, hi, Amber. It's my sister. Hello. Your sister's here. My sister's here. Oh, my gosh. She's a whole 10 years younger than me. She's on the East Coast. That's hello. great. So she's like a teenager then? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> How old am I? I, I just know. turned 30. <laughs> okay. So she's like 20, yeah. Okay. 20, I think. Hey, Sam. QA. He's our guy. Yeah, Sam's the man. All right. So let's do this. We're going to go... And where are we going? The Leon to find a stash. That's where we're going. All right. You don't have nitrous installed. No nitrous installed. So says thank you. Yeah. Thank you for the reminder. Because you pressed the button. I did. And it <laughs> out of habit. Go. Yeah. You know, it's just I like riding around with the nitrous. It is good. But it's too soon. Yeah. Good evening. Hello. Hello. Wow, you know, after you go from the fully upgraded bike to this, it's very slow. It is. It is a little slow. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we we Ooh. had we had to kind of like give you a taste of it at the beginning and then take it away. You know, it's kind of cool. You think about it. It is. It is. <laughs> but it's kind of kind of a standard thing to do. Yeah. In, in games, for sure. So, what was your what was your most accomplished thing that you put into this game? Oh, jeez. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna make me. You're gonna make me think. <laughs> um, That's what I'm here for. <laughs> it, it it sounds weird, but I I am really proud of the the fast travel loop um, with the infestations and and having to clear out paths um, to to get safe fast travel. Um, kind of gamifying fast travel is not something that's done super often. Um, True. And the the amount of math that I put into calculating the distance and fuel consumption and stuff for the fast travel because it actually uses uh, gas based on the distance that you're fast traveling. So you had to really really think for this. I I did. Oops. Uh, there's a rock there. Yeah, that. Um, <laughs> yeah, you should keep your eyes on the road. Um, but yeah, no, I, I that was. I mean, it, it really genuinely was not complicated math, but like for me, it was the most complicated math that I've done because it takes into account like uh, height and stuff too like the elevation um, changes as you're driving across the, the environment and so I wanted to try to make it somewhat accurate as to how much fuel you would consume uh, and so I did a lot of back and forth tests of driving it manually seeing how much gas I'd used and then making sure <laughs> that it was accurate to the the fast travel calculation that I was doing so that's impressive thanks and yes, the audio is stereo now. Good pickup. Good pickup. <laughs> <laughs> new room, new equipment, new setup. We, ha we got the works here. Uh, shout out to our, our new audio director, Steve Wetman. He kind of helped me set up these, uh, this new stereo uh, audio stuff. The stuff I have no clue about, but he obviously is a professional. Hey, Todd, how are you doing? Hello, chat. And chat is going again. It is. Ooh, hello. Seeing some familiar names in there. Yeah, it's always nice. Raccoon Gaming, just started my third playthrough. Any tips for 100% everything mission-wise? Eric, do you have any tips? Uh, there's, there's a lot of side stuff, you know? So, like, obviously you'll see all of the, the gold-colored uh, markers for the missions and stuff, but there's a lot of side stuff. Um, that you can pick up, but uh, go to the storyline menu um, in in the main menu, and you can see, or like from the map menu, you can see the progress on all of the different storylines, and we've got everything like categorized in there, so you can keep track of uh, how much progress you've made on each individual storyline. And uh, loot everybody from the very beginning if you're going for yeah. the trophy. Uh, make it a thousand times easier for you once you get to the end of the game. 
because I did not do that much. Play. <laughs> oh no! So I was just going around looting things. Now we'll, we'll see if you remember better than I do. Is th is that the five four one or is that the nine eight nine? That's the nine eight nine. Is the ears? Is the freaker ears? Okay. okay. Right? Yeah, I think so. Okay. I think you're right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nine eight nine was the uh, nine eight nine studios reference to that um, back in the day, and then the uh, five four one. Obviously, that's our area code here, Central Oregon. Which is kind of crazy because where I lived in Virginia, the area code was five four zero. Nice. Does, does that mean we were the next area code? Is it sequential? Yeah. Did yeah. We existed just after. Like the area codes were built around my destiny, That's from Virginia five four zero to here five four. I, I won't. I won't question it. It sounds believable. Right. Enough. Yeah. <laughs> You guys are awesome. Love the Ben Studio team. You're awesome. <laughs> we love you. Your uh, mic's smoking. Yeah, it is. I think, it, I think it's from that rock that you hit. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Let's uh, fix that right up here. Didn't I have the spike bat? I, I feel like I did. Why do I have a 2x4 now? I don't know. Maybe I switched up. Good catch, though. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on, hold on. They're slowing down. Looks like oh, they're no. stopping. Nero. Nero, these guys. Hello. Crazy man, how are you doing? We're doing good. Yeah, not too bad. Hanging out. So I have, I've got the chat up in a different monitor, and it's... It's small, so if I missed your message, <laughs> I apologize. Even though I'm wearing glasses, it's because we're old and we need to like <laughs> look forward like this. To it's see not that. helping. I came up with the, the name Nero, by the way. You did. Yeah. You know why I know that? Because I told you. Because you told me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, <laughs> is it documented somewhere that I don't know about? It actually is. <laughs> is it's it? on, oh. documented on my vlog that I used to do. Oh, that's right. During that interview. Yeah, yeah. I remember that. You gave me that little that little nice yeah, nugget. I remember. Yeah, we were trying to come up with our version of FEMA that uh, sounded cool and, and menacing. And that's where Nero came from. The National Emergency Response Organization. I like it. Oh, thanks. Dan, I want a refund. I highlighted a message and it still didn't work. <laughs> Where's your highlighted <laughs> message? <laughs> you, you're from Ben Studio, so you don't count. I can't refund <laughs> highlights. <laughs> cool. Well, now, now, I, now I feel bad. I feel, I feel I like in a Dan, minute. Dan, I'm we're sorry. Gonna, we'll, I, we'll I have apologize. To, maybe we'll take a commercial break in a second and see what kind of surprise Dan left out there for oh us. Oh, my gosh. What were you doing? I was paying attention to the chat and I just kept I going. I told you, eyes on the road. I apologize. You're not even driving and I'm you can't sorry, pay attention. Sorry. So I still have not died in this playthrough and that does not count because technically I didn't die. So let's listen I, to this one. I have always wondered what uh, what Nero does to Deacon that causes him to have to reset. Do they do they kill him? That's a good question. Do they capture him? Do they take him somewhere? Hmm. No, I, I never know. know. You'll have to write your own fiction for Maybe that Maybe just like give him a warning, go back. Yeah, yeah. There's got to be a fan fiction out there somewhere about it. I hope so. Can you imagine a world if this were to happen? No, I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that that's kind of how this game came to be. Like, we were sitting here in Oregon, like, what, what happened if zombies showed up? With motorcycles. With, I mean, the zombies aren't on motorcycles. Well, I mean, Kevin. Evolution. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I, yeah, I guess anything's possible then. <laughs> Crazy man thinks they capture and then release them. I think it's more of like a, hey, get out of here. You don't belong here, Deacon St. Right. John. Right. Your long name. He, he probably tells them his name and then they don't believe it and yeah. think that he's up to something fishy. And like there's no way that's your name, man. Yeah, it's like that. That's got to be made up. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the son of a preacher, man. 
See, the freaks are evolving, so they could be homeowner bikes. Yep, See? Okay. Chat, you got me. You understand. <laughs> I don't know what this guy is. Guy who worked on Days Gone, whatever. <laughs> I, I didn't write the story. <laughs> <laughs> I love his name. You know, I actually do. Even though it's a long name and it's a weird name, I, I actually love Deacon St. John. Like, you say Deacon St. John, you know it's a character from Days Gone. There is no mistake in it. <laughs> it's, it's true. It's true. Like, you say Kratos, you know exactly what uh, that's from. Just started my 13th, 13th playthrough. playthrough. Oh my gosh. You know, you deserve a clap. That's you deserve a clap. And and a virtual high five. There you go. <laughs> that's awesome. That's that's more playthroughs than me, that's for sure. But you should have saw chat last time. Um, I guess from what I played is like baby hours compared to everyone else. Wow. They're in thousands, thousands of hours. I I mean I, I would I would say that I probably have more than that. Uh, but sure, not, sure. but not on the actual game. Uh, it's it's a lot less. So that's very very impressive, and very appreciated. Mm. What, what are you doing? This that guy. See him? Yeah. See him no, I, I saw him. Did you see him? I, now I do. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna go this way. Can I get this collectible real quick? I mean, you can try. I'm gonna try. All right, Deacon. Shush. Stop oh, talking. Go. That's a, that's a good one. We have a lot of cool caves here in Oregon. All of the historical markers are based on caves that we actually have around here and i've been to a cave since i've been here and all i thought about the whole time was freakers <laughs> <laughs> that's good i'm sorry <laughs> yeah so thanks for that did Appreciate you still it. enjoy it though i did good my daughters did not oh they okay. we did not go far they're like it's too dark and i'm not gonna lie it was super dark <laughs> it, it's cold too yeah like that's that's the thing that. That, that's crazy like especially if you go in the summer it'll be 80 degrees out on the surface and you go down into one of those lava tubes and it like the temperature is like half. Yeah, it's, it's wild. It's kind of crazy. I do want to explore some more though. There's some cool ones. I'll go with you. Please keep each other safe. Let's do it. Yeah. yeah. Two Deacon St. Johns on the unbroken road. Yeah. yeah. Going through caves. Hopefully Nero, Nero's not there. We could we could live stream our uh, spelunking. Live streaming real life spelunking caves. I don't know if we'd get service down there though. That's true. Yeah. Trophy. Hey yeah, trophy. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Residue bolt. Nice. Can we, Kevin, can we get a daddy daughter playthrough? <laughs> uh, my girls haven't played. Uh, <laughs> haven't played Days Gone. They've seen it. They're probably watching right now. Actually, um, they're more of a sack boy. Um, or one of my daughter's favorite games is the indie game called A Short Hike. She loves oh, it. Oh, I just downloaded that. Yeah, it's great. It is, it is really cool. cool. Nice. We'll but she just goes around, just explores, swims in the water, and flies That's around. Cool. That's awesome. Yeah, I, I mostly just play uh, Minecraft and Roblox and Fortnite, my kids. Hey, yeah. <laughs> I still get to play Fortnite. Oh, you'll have to play with us. I know. I should. If you want to feel really bad playing Fortnite, you can play with my son because he does not hold back. He is a trash talker. <laughs> and he makes you feel like garbage. <laughs> and when you finally pick up a cool weapon, he's like, nope, I call dibs on that after you've picked it up. And then you're like, you feel bad because he's a kid. And then you give it to him. Oh. Yeah. Or, or that's just me. And I, I need to learn more boundaries <laughs> as a parent. <laughs> but it's super fun playing games with him. Yeah, it's always fun playing with your kids. Like, yeah. It just brings such an extra level of joy into it. Yeah. I did, I did let Caleb play uh, Days Gone when we were in production, uh, but I turned off like a lot of the open world stuff, and so he would just cruise around on the motorcycle. Oh, nice. And he was good at it. He was drifting around corners and going off jumps and stuff. <laughs> it was super intuitive for him. That's it, cool. The same thing happened with Spider-Man. Like, our, our motorbike and Spider-Man's controls, like, I handed it to my kid, and they just, they get it, like, just immediately. That's really cool. So, it's always nice to see that. Um, when when you know younger kids can pick stuff up and right. and get a hang of it pretty quickly. I forgot to burn uh, Alvarez's body back there. Oh, he's gonna get me. They never miss. <laughs> All right, now I gotta. Oh, oh no, no ammo. That's cool. That's that's fantastic. Just oh, roll. What, what games are you playing not with your kids? Uh. I'll, Lately, I've been playing the crap out of Elden Ring. I've never heard of it. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
run, Deacon. He has no stamina. Okay. Um. Boom. Oh, no. Punch him. Hit him. I'm trying. Dodge. Uh, dive. I'm, woo. Duck. Oh, my gosh. All right. Do I just have the sniper left? So this is a sniper ambush. Just got to hit him with one shot. Good call. And he's good. <laughs> you'll, you'll be okay. Where's he at? I missed. I, that was your only arrow. That was my only arrow. <laughs> well, now what? Um, can you hit him with a rock? I can try. Okay. All right, let's rock this. Or you're gonna, you're gonna die. I'm trying, Derek. Do it. Hit I have a rock, rock, man. <laughs> hit, him, hit him with the rock. <laughs> let's rock you and roll it, this. Can, oh, that, that was that was bad. Okay. <laughs> that was, I mean, that was fair as a dad joke. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, there's a police car right there. Can I get to it for ammo? That's not a police car. No, it's not that one. That one. Oh, yeah. You, I mean, you could. I don't. If you can get to the back of it where he's aiming. Where he's aiming. <laughs> Is there one in here? Yeah, go in there. You'll All right, find let's something. go. Ready? Go. Oh, I, I forgot to unduck. <laughs> Roll, Deacon. That's called standing. All right. We made it. <laughs> we just had to go back and get the bike. Quality entertainment it'll, right it'll here. It'll be fine. <laughs> just go into the dark tunnel without any ammo. Yeah. You'll be good. Oh, there's going to be freakers in here too, isn't there? Probably. Yeah. I mean, hmm. your luck. I, I I didn't play this good. <laughs> All right, let's see. we can get this little bat. I'm not going to move that because I just need ammo desperately. <laughs> so I haven't I haven't started Elden Ring yet. Um, Unacceptable. I'm, I'm sorry. Well, I told you. I, I planned it. it. The planned. Uh, no, I know. I, I, you you told me. Yeah, you're supposed to call me Elden Lord now. Oh, sorry. The chat called me Elden Lord last week. Did they really? Yeah, it was that, great. Wow. That, chat looks out. Nerd. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I'm still uh, making my way through Horizon, and I'm playing that with Caleb. We're kind of taking turns. Oh, nice, nice. Um, so I, I play the missions, and he uh, explores the open world. So oh, very cool. We just kind of tag team. So we're going through that, and then, like I said, I play Fortnite with him. Um, that's a cool bonding moment. Yeah, for sure. See, Elden Lord Kevin, it's already started. Wow. All right, I really need ammo. This is, <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Cool. No. Cool, cool, cool. Let's go this way. Yeah, your bike's, your bike's really far away now. Yeah, it's really far away. Yeah. Oh, where's the kerosene at? I just saw it. Here it is. There it is. Oh, jeez. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right. Do I have a mo- oh, jeez. This is, this is bad. Where, I'm in a pickle. I mean, there's probably ammo in the nearer checkpoint. Yeah, if you, you know, want. you're probably right. So let's get this guy first. You're going to do a near checkpoint now? Yeah. Oh, man. All right, get out of here. Be really nice if I had some, like, nails into this. Right. But, yeah. you know, we'll just do it old-fashioned way. All right. Now. So, so uh, Nate Ferguson actually put together the first narrow checkpoint. It was for, um, it was for that mission uh, at the very beginning. And uh, then we decided that we wanted that to be kind of, like, all over the world. And so... I made a systemic version of it, and then Jacob Feith, um took over, and he was the one that um, put together all the narrow checkpoints across the whole map, set up all the puzzles for finding the, the fuse and all that stuff. He did a great job. Yeah, I love these things. I love exploring them. All right, let's get this one. And lots of collectibles and stuff tied to them. And I think we talked about this last week, collectibles. Only having to collect... 75% of that oh, yeah. is great <laughs> for trophies. Yeah. Yes. That was a that was a good one. Whose idea was it to put the speakers at the checkpoint? I think that was Nero. I think they're the ones that... Uh, <laughs> Makes <laughs> sense. Uh, we, we decided that we wanted to, to just mess with the player a little bit, and if you decided to not pay attention and just power everything up and, and go at it, um, you'd alert people. And so we kind of wanted an option for you to kind of go around and stealth uh, the setup and, and cut them down and, you know, make it a little bit safer to, to approach. Which uh, happened to me last week. Completely forgot to do the first <laughs> narrow one. And they all went off. That's, that's good. Good like, job. Rookie and the, move, Kevin. And, and as we progressed through the game, like, we got more and more clever with where we hid some of the speakers so that there were, you know, just that one left over that, that would make you uh, alert the, the freakers. So... Did you put gas in it? I did. Okay, good. I wasn't yeah, paying attention. I jumped ahead. Nice. 
Hey, Mark Dickinson, how are you doing? Our senior producer here at Event Studio. Hey. How is your Friday night going, sir? Oh, shit. Oh, wait. Did I? Oh, I got to add the thing. Did I? I thought did, I collected did you, it. Did you get the fuse? I thought I did. No? You did the gas. Oh, I swear I got that thing. Maybe I did. Because <laughs> that was the one at the dead body, wasn't it? No, that. Uh, oh, no. The fuse is over in that trailer. It's this way. Yeah. I wonder what I picked up over there. I don't know how I remember Maybe it was a cloth. Yeah. Because that's not the same thing. Here we go. A, a cloth and a fuse? Yeah, no, they're different. Yeah. yeah. So how did you all start at Ben Studio? Eric, proceed. Oh, jeez. Uh, <laughs> four score and <laughs> 16 and a half years ago. Uh, I, so I actually moved to Oregon uh, not even knowing that the studio existed. I had never heard of Ben Studio. Um, I had played Siphon Filter, um, but I, I had never heard of the studio. And so uh, I kind of stumbled upon uh, a conversation with uh, wife of one of the programmers here, Darren Chisholm. Um, and How distracting is this right now? It's, it's pretty distracting. <laughs> it's, it's good. I appreciate that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, we got to talking and I, I, you know, heard about the studio and uh, got a chance to come in and, and um, join QA. And so it was, it was kind of a, a once in a lifetime uh, kind of opportunity. And so hey, you, you forgot a speaker. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so yeah, that was almost 17 years ago, um, and I've been here ever since. I, I never planned on going into the games industry. Um, it's it's one of those things that, like, you know, when you're a kid and you're like watching a movie and then you see the credits roll and you're like, huh, that's cool, but you don't think about the fact that all of those people actually worked on the thing that you're right. watching, or you know, people drew the cartoon characters, or people you know programmed and. Um, design the games that you're playing. It's it's not something that you always think about until you do, and then there's that moment uh, when you're growing up that it clicks. And it was one of those things that like I just never really thought about all that went into making games until I yes. was actually here uh, and got a chance to work with you know in QA working with all the designers and engineers and artists and understanding what all goes into making a game. And it's so complex, but I fell in love with it and. I just, I didn't leave, so I just, I just kind of stayed. And you just, yes, you're here forever. Yep. We, we will never let you leave. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I have a gun. I have so, ammo. So, Kevin, how did you start? Oh, man. They, they hear this all the time from me. <laughs> I, I don't know the story. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, for everyone who doesn't know the story... I'm trying to find the sniper real quick. Hold on. Okay. I got to concentrate. Where is he? Did he leave? Did all he right. had enough of me? He gave up. Oh, wow. <laughs> so I went all the way that way. Find ammo. Took down freaks. Yeah. Look, Deacon is about to die. He's out of breath. Yeah. And the sniper just leaves. I do wonder if Deacon has asthma. It, right? You know, like he complains about... Um, He's so out of shape, man. Yeah, he complains about climbing ladders. Um, I mean, they are some tall ladders. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there, there's this one line where he's like, ah, I gotta get off the bike more often. And it makes me, it makes me think that he's kind of out of shape. <laughs> Maybe that's why he can't take on the hordes uh, early on in the game. I mean, it makes sense. Because right? he's just out of shape. So after that whole complete detour that took out, what, 15 minutes of our time, it was absolutely pointless. So we're gonna continue <coughs> on. I think we're gonna, I think we're going to, where are we going? I don't even know where we're going. You gotta take the, the cooler to the oh we're going to tucker to the oh to the tucker we're going to the tucker you're going to go to tucker uh -huh. i mean i'm going to go to her but i'm not going to give her the stash okay, okay. so yeah um where were we at oh how i got here yeah how how are you here sitting next to me how am i here i mean ben Sue just kind of <laughs> found me on the internet <laughs> like this guy seems yes. cool <laughs> i mean that's you're not wrong. The gist of it. That's right. Yeah, that was it. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, Days Gone came out in 2019, and I just kind of um, became a content creator slash my own personal community manager, you could say. Um, I wasn't on social media before. I was, but like not. I had no presence. Like uh, no one followed me. I didn't follow anybody. I was just looking for news. 
So Days Gone comes up, and I kind of fall in love with the game. Uh, and af as I'm playing, and oh, you parked your bike behind the truck. <laughs> as I'm playing, I start just coming up with content, and kind of started with creating a blog where uh, I first started with just like fan fiction stories that I started writing because I I enjoyed the write, and then it kind of evolved from there to where um, I started having interviews uh, with devs from Ben Studio. Um, which kind of put the blog on the map, you could say. Um, started holding virtual photography themes every month with the community. Uh, started coming up with Days Gone events, like Days Gone Week, if everyone remembers. Days Gone Week. It was beautiful. It was. It was so good. Um, and yeah, getting interviews from the actors, like Jim Peary, Eric Allen Kramer. Um, but just kind of doing that for two years or so, uh, doing things with the community, sharing their fan art, um, you know, just a bunch of that, like I said, kind of being my own personal community manager is like, hey, I love doing this community stuff, I love sharing people's passion and, um, you know, creating. So I kind of got the attention of these fine folks and here we are. We kind of just figured you had sold enough copies of the game for us that we yeah, should start paying Yeah, that too. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, no, it's been fun. Gen genuinely, you, you, I mean, you, as, a, as a community member, you had done such a good job of, of getting the community together. And, and, you know, I mean, just the inner, I, I was impressed that, at your, your uh, tenaciousness in, in getting all of the people uh, to do interviews for you. Um, it, it was awesome to see, and you, you kind of proved yourself to us. So, well, thank you. Yeah, good job, dude. Shedding a tear, no stop it. <laughs> you, just, you just drove by that guy that needed rescuing. I, you just he, I don't have time for him. Okay, okay. I All have right. important matters to do. I have to go see Tucker. <laughs> you gotta take these drugs <laughs> to the to the slave camp. <laughs> Priorities, Eric. Priorities. <laughs> <laughs> Tucker, Tucker's interesting. She's she's my least favorite uh, uh, camp leader yeah um, she's got some personality she does she's she's interesting I, I, I very well portrayed character um, but probably an awful person probably no lady. but I mean that, that's to be expected right lady in red thank you glad you love the blog it was fun now I kind of take that of uh, what I learned uh, from myself and I get to apply it to uh, Ben Studio blog sometimes which is really cool and it's like one of those surreal moments, like, oh, now I'm writing on the Ben Studio blog. And, and, and the PlayStation blog. And the PlayStation blog. Wow. Man, that was that first time, <laughs> man. That was crazy. The first time was the PlayStation blog about Days Gone. Yeah. Blew my mind. I didn't know what to do. <laughs> Hard to contain emotions. But, yeah, before, before gaming, I, was, I, I graduated with a bachelor's degree in computer network and security. I was doing that while uh, I had my kids and kind of working jobs. Um, doing that like full time and then yeah working jobs I hated so I was right before here I was working at a warehouse as like customer service um, on a, doing Microsoft Excel spreadsheets and in between that writing days gone blog post while I was there nice so ha on them <laughs> <laughs> my, my last job literally was uh, Ace Hardware that was the last thing I did before this that was 17 years ago. Wow. That's crazy. I, I drove a forklift. They wanted me to drive a forklift. Yeah. But I refused because they're like, do I get more money? No. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. No. No. <laughs> why did I? I might need my bike in here. You know what? You I'm just, not sure why I just parked you it. You just right got there. off and just <laughs> left it there for the taking. It's got the drugs on it and everything. Oh, thanks, Jadis. Appreciate it, man. You know what? Jadis, why this is going right now, I'm going to go ahead and give you a follow on Twitter from the Ben Studio account because you have been awesome. That's impressive. And community members that are awesome get awesome things like this <laughs> if you think it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Motorcycles and video games. Hey, from forklift to Ben Studio is a great transition. It, it, it yeah. is. It is I, I do kind of miss the forklift. Like the forklift was, was actually pretty cool. Um, but we, uh, you are followed back now, Jadis. <laughs> we should not have been driving that forklift. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was good at it, but 
You know, Eric, you're, you're good at everything. I'm going to give you that. From crafting tables to remodeling your living room to designing games I... to... No, <laughs> let, let me go okay. on. <laughs> to being a friend. Baby, it's so good, man. <laughs> I appreciate it. I, I'm, not, I'm not good at everything, but I'm willing to try everything and, and to, to varying levels of success. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I like, yeah, I like trying a lot of stuff. You're welcome, Jadis. Well deserved, my man. Yeah, I think that's one of the big things I've learned about being at Ben Studio is just, tr I've gotten so out of my comfort zone by trying new things. Yeah, yeah. And that has helped me like really grow and learn so much just for the year I've been here. Yeah, no, and, and that's like, that's what's kind of awesome about Ben Studio is like everybody from community to QA to everything in between, um, everybody has an opportunity to kind of, you know, explore things and wear many hats and, and grow and, and, you know, nobody's stuck in, in kind of one lane. Um, there's lots of opportunity And to that's grow. kind of the uniqueness of our smaller studio compared to others yeah. is we can do that. Yeah. I'm an indie dev here in Bend. I'm trying, and I in these job postings. Nice. Yeah, keep looking. We post, we post a new job. Uh, well, not a new job, but a job every week. Um, and we always share our monthly jobs. Check out our LinkedIn. A um, lot of career opportunities there. And even if you don't think you're qualified, try. You know, just, just throw it out there. I wasn't qualified. Kevin wasn't qualified. I mean, he's, he's qualified, but he was, you know, by by standards, mm -hmm. you know, um, and and you just gotta you just gotta try, you know, submit a resume, and uh, and see what happens. We've we've actually hired a lot of people um, locally, so Mark Dickinson, I've never been qualified. <laughs> see, you just you fake it until you make it, and yep. then uh, like I I have imposter syndrome all the time. Uh, it it's just it's the name of the game, so. You know, you just got to be uh, true to yourself and, and try your best and uh, put yourself out there. Oh, thanks for the LinkedIn uh, link. LinkedIn link, Sam. Awesome. Appreciate it. Oh, yeah, this is a good, like, 15 minutes, so we can keep talking. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, here's, here's a fun fact. Uh, it was supposed to be longer, wasn't it? Uh, no, no, no. I, I worked on the golf cart, too. <laughs> so... Uh, a plus golf cart, right? Thanks, here. thanks. Yeah. Um, I I know this has come up in some of the talks that we've had in the past, but like um, when we when we started using Unreal, uh, all that they had was four wheel vehicles, and so we took Unreal's four wheel vehicle system and converted it to two wheels for the motorcycle. So the motorcycle has two other wheels that are just hidden, um, but when I went to make the golf cart. Instead of using the, the four-wheel vehicle system, I used the two-wheel motorcycle vehicle system that had two hidden wheels, and then I put the two wheels back on it. So, so the golf cart is technically the motorcycle in the game. And it, like before we did a pass on you know, polishing with sound effects and, and uh, you know, other audio and stuff like that, it rumbled like the motorcycle. It had uh, an exhaust sticking out of the back. It had nitrous. And, and then we, the, the professionals came in and cleaned it all up and <laughs> made it sound like it was electric powered and everything and, and slowed it down. <laughs> but that's cool. That's, that's where it originally started from. Uh, and that's why we, uh, that's why we did, were able to do the, the crazy taxi challenge with the golf cart is because we just, oh, right. un we just unthrottled it. And it was, a, a, it was a, f a fast uh, golf cart then. So. Sam says, wow, today I've learned. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I'm glad I could uh, share some, sh some old knowledge. From uh, Rotten Monster, what's your favorite mission in the game? Favorite mm. mission in the game? I mean, I guess just by gameplay-wise, the old saw mill. The old saw mill tops it. Yeah, yeah, that's right. a good one. As far as gameplay, for sure. Um, for, like, emotion... For me, um, there's there's three moments in the game where Deacon has to uh, kind of do a mercy kill um, with with 
the the young woman that was taken by the Rippers. Oh yeah. And then with the dog, and then with uh, Taylor, and like those were those were just like raw emotional right. moments where you got to see, you know, Deacon's you know heart and and compassion for people and 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 stuff like that and knowing you know what he had to actually do in this in this world. Um, and especially like for the for the dog, like nobody wants to be put in that position, but he knew that Boozer wasn't going to be able to do it. Right. So, Philip Wilson has entered the chat. What is up, hey. Eric? How are you? What's up, Phil? Philip worked on Days Gone. Yeah, he was on the open world design team with me. Yep. He worked on these camps. Ron Monster said, "Doing my job is mine." That's the title of the mission. Doing my job. Nice. Yeah, for, I mean, gameplay, Old Sawmill, story-wise, it's not a mission, so I guess, like, scene. Story-wise, uh, the wedding, I really enjoyed yeah. that part and kind of showed you uh, who Deacon was beforehand and how yeah. much Sarah meant to him. And then moment, favorite moment is when you drive uh, with Heller, high water plane, up Mount Tielsen. Yeah, That moment one. is, like, it's so... Uh, so good because yeah. you add the music in there, but you're the one driving. But the whole time you're thinking, semi spoilers. <laughs> you're thinking, is Sarah alive? Is Sarah not alive? Um, you know what's going on. And at that time, when I was playing my very first playthrough, I kind of put my my feet in Deacon's shoes, and I'm like thinking about like my wife, like you know, going through this whole journey, and that's all you're doing is looking for her. Yeah. And then you're still like, there might be a chance she's alive. And that, that really hit with me. Yeah, and I don't know, like, nothing happens in that moment. It's just you riding the bike and the music. Mm -hmm. But like you said, like, there's that feeling of, I think she might be alive. <laughs> I think, I think there's, there's hope there. Yep. And that was, yeah, that was really cool. And it wasn't even anything. It was just everything that led up to it that made you think, like, I wonder, you know, what right. if... What if this is like right before I find out one way or the other? Okay, so just got a new gun from Alki, and then here's your options to take the drug stash. Um, Jin Sakai, if you're still in here, we were talking about this last week. So this is where I always take it to Copeland, because you Copeland, you get, you get to upgrade your bike right away. But you'll also get credits after this from Tucker that you can still get a weapon. So we'll go ahead and do this. It's the right choice. Yeah. No, because like it was on the right side of the screen. Oh, yeah. It was the right one. Mm. Yeah. Good one. Good one. <laughs> so it bumps up your credits because I think I w we only had 167 left, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. So you get enough credits to where you can go back and get enough. Uh, I think it's it's either this one. Or the next one, you, you can come back and get just another gun if you need it. Like, I already got the basic gun. Okay. Um, yeah, so I had this one. Right. Oh, yeah, you need you the trust. you got to get trust. But yeah, you get this one, like, kind of right away, yeah. and then you can you also can get, get a, this one. Yeah, you can get the sniper. If you want. Because you can't really get the these until you get the trust anyway. Right. Which I don't know if you deliver the stash, does that bump up to two? Uh, I, that's a good question. I don't remember. So that's why I always choose Copeland because the bike, especially if you're playing this multiple times and you know how the fully upgraded bike is compared to this, you want to upgrade it, the bike. It's <laughs> worth it. Yeah. And Copeland is just, I mean, he's, he's the lesser of two evils. Yeah, that too. <laughs> uh, we need gas. Fuel. Refuel. We'll repair for 12 credits. Why not? All right. Might, might as well. Now let's go see Mr. Copeland. The ride with Soldier's Eyes playing. That was another awesome moment. Yeah, I think, that was a good one. I think a lot of people choose that one over Hell or High Water, actually. Because you, you, know, you had Boozer with you that time. Yeah. So there is a... Which each time, it's like, that one's with Boozer. You don't, you're, don't really know what his fate's going to be. Right. And then the next time is, you don't know what Sarah's fate is. Yeah. Trying to get these collectibles now so we can go ahead and uh, eventually 
we'll pop the platinum trophy on here. Because uh, for all of you that weren't here last week, I'm under the Ben Studio account now on the PlayStation. And we do not have the platinum trophy in Days Gone. And it's embarrassing. It's really embarrassing. It's completely unacceptable. It is. So I'm fixing that. <laughs> I'm bringing justice to the Good. studio. <laughs> <laughs> but you can, you can follow the journey if you go on the, the PlayStation, uh, either PS4 or PS5 or on the app. Um, you can search for Ben Studio and you can follow us on there. Yeah. And you'll be able to make fun of our trophy progress until we get that platinum. Exactly. And the overall trophy progress in general is very low. It is. It is. Yeah. Which we'll is okay. To, we'll have to work on that. Yeah. You should, uh, you should get the Elden Ring platinum on here again. I did it once, Eric, and I think that was, that can, was it. I mean, Andrew Goldfarb did it twice. He, you know, shout out to him. He Respect. Did it, he did it on <laughs> PS4 Respect. and PS5. I saw that's, that. That's dedication. So I, I, I beat it. I went immediately to the second journey, rushed through the uh, bosses, went to journey three, kind of rushed through the bosses again, did some options, finished journey three. Of Elden Ring. It's impressive. And I think I'm actually done now because oh, wow. <laughs> I haven't played a game besides streaming <laughs> in a few days. <laughs> I'm, I'm mentally exhausted. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you have to play some uh, Fortnite or uh, Rocket, Rocket League with us. Yeah, I think that's a good way to balance it. Phil, Phil and Jacob and I have played some Rocket League recently and got back into it, so nice. we, could, we could use it. I've never played Rocket League either. Yeah, I know. It's so good. It's like soccer, but with like cars. It's like hmm. car soccer. Car soccer. Yeah. yeah. Seems like it fits. It, I've heard about Rocket League. Like, it's a huge game. Yeah, yeah. No, it, it's it's awesome. Days Gone Quiet was probably my favorite on the soundtrack. Yeah, that was so good at the very end. Yeah. Going through the credits. That was a. Uh, oh crap! What's what's the guy's name? Uh, the. The artist that yep. does that song. Yep. Louis Capaldi. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love we, we were both drawn <laughs> up like that. <laughs> we, we got him to do that. was before he blew up when we, oh, when right. we initially had him record that song. Um, that, was, that was before he blew up, which was kind of cool. Um, I do wish, I, I don't know, we'll have to look into uh, the, the story behind it, but I do wish it was on more uh, streaming platforms. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, nope. I'd, I'd play Rocket League if I could use a motorcycle. That would, man, that would have been cool if we could have gotten a Days Gone motorcycle in Rocket League. That would be cool. But they have four wheels and we have two. I don't think that... So we can get our golf cart in. That's true. We can get the golf cart. <laughs> <laughs> I usually play as a, a Sweet Tooth's ice cream truck. Oh, nice. So, nice. Yeah. But technically, if we put the golf cart in, it would be technically the motorcycle. So, right. win-win. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's they say. <laughs> and no, we are not saying there's going to be a crossover between Days Gone and Rocket nope. League. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? Let's go. Let's go ahead and grab this collectible over here real quick. Do it. Makes it nice and easy when it's on the map. That was that was one of the first historical markers that I put in the game. I think this one right here. Yeah. Is this uh, the Jacksons? The, yeah, the Teller Teller Cabin. cabin. So yeah. Te Teller Jackson Sons of Anarchy. Right. Right. Was that a, was that a, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> a, <laughs> sure. <laughs> Let's go with it. No, I, I think I want to say, so uh, our narrative designer, Elise Lemoyne, that worked on a lot of the collectible stuff with me, um, she did a bunch of research on like just old stories and stuff um, through, through Oregon uh, history. And I think that that's where a, a lot of the names came from. We, we might've changed some of them. Uh, but I, I know that a lot of those stories were based on uh, stuff that we had researched. Hey, Jay, I see you first time chat. Always love seeing first time chatters in here. So nice. Yeah, I went through like 45 minutes one night going through all the collectibles of Days Gone, just reading them awesome. all. I'm like, man, this is so cool. I always love uh, like some of the games where you just get immersed and you just want every single bit of information. Yeah, and that's that's the big thing. Like. When you're when you're creating the collectibles, you're like, oh man, there's so many collectibles, there's so much information, and you you forget that a lot of people just live off of that stuff, and it's it's super cool to be able to deliver that for the people that enjoy, and, and get sucked into the world and just want to know everything about it. So, hey, good job, you get another. Oh, another trophy. trophy. Boom. 
Oh, thanks, crazy man. Appreciate it. Glad you stopped by. It's awesome. Shout out Elise for sure. She was she was yes. awesome. Rock, I only I met star. her in person one one time I think when we went to lunch. Yeah, yeah. No, she's she's awesome. Then she moved away from us. She's one of my favorites. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's. Oh, did I just deliver? This, did I deliver the stash? I did, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So can you can you name all of the people that are on those license plates on there? This cool. is uh, some trivia. Okay, there's uh, EWJ is you. Yep. Uh, PSW is Philip. Yep. KTS Katie Scott. Yep. SEW. Mm. I don't know that one. I don't <laughs> I don't. I don't remember. In TCL, uh, TCL, like the TV brand. See, how are you gonna give me trivia? You don't even know the answers. No, I was. I, I was trying to have you tell me. I oh, don't, okay. I don't remember. Well, I did very well then. No, that was pretty good. Yeah, three out of three out of five. Yeah. Let's upgrade this engine. Trophy. Nice. You know, that we're trophy, well on our way. That notification is just so sweet. It is. I, I I do miss I do miss playing it on PS4 with that little and, and getting the screenshots yeah. for, the, for the story trophies though. I'll I'll have to talk to somebody about that see yeah. what we can do on PS5 because sure. that was going back to your initial question of what was my favorite that's my favorite thing <laughs> <laughs> that's that's my favorite thing is all the trophy screenshots for all the story mode stuff. Um, when I found out that we could do that that was I was excited. And so I, I pushed real hard to get that in there. Um, and so I, 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 like, I went into every cinematic for all of the missions and, and scrubbed through, and I put a keyframe into the cinematic. Like in Unreal, I scrubbed through and I put a keyframe in the cinematic, and that is what triggers the screenshot going off. And so when you get the trophy, after the fact, it uses the screenshot that was already cached from the cinematic beforehand and then it uses that for your screenshot so that you don't get like a black screen or a loading screen. Hmm. Very cool. So the more you know. The more you know. So going ahead, we're upgrading the bike here and we're gonna make it look pretty. So we're at Ben's studio, Siphon. we're doing Days Gone. So let's throw a siphon filter onto this, right? Fits perfectly, look at that thing. I loved when this one came out. Katie Scott's in here. What? Holy crap. Hi Katie, How Welcome are you? Katie. <laughs> Katie, Katie did shout out to Katie because she did a lot of the the oh, awesome God. artwork uh, for the the tanks on the bike. There's some really cool stuff in there, and a lot of that is from Katie. Katie is a very talented artist, and she's a local. Yeah, hey, your bike fell over. I did. Why? Is that her? <laughs> what up? What did I do to you? See, now we got the matte black frame. That's nice. Siphon filter skin. We're ready now. That's awesome. Let's go. I tell you when I so when we were down the street at the old studio when I first started, uh, and I walked in the door and I saw the siphon filter posters, I I about lost it because I, I had no <laughs> idea I had no idea that the place that I was applying uh, was uh, was in charge of making and creating siphon filter. That's cool. Um, I I had no clue, and I saw the siphon filter posters and I'm like I'm like whispering. I think it was probably Susan at the time. Uh, Still, because she was just right there at the front door, and I, I, I was like, "You guys made siphon filter?" She's <laughs> <laughs> like, "Yeah." I'm like, wow, I played that when I was a little kid. <laughs> I wasn't, I wasn't that little, but I was probably in, uh, I was probably in middle school and high school when I played through most of the siphon games. Shout out to Susan. She's the MVP she's, of the studio. She is. She is. She's she is the she's our glue. She keeps us all together for sure. Oh, bye, Mark. Have a great weekend. Bye, Mark. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna need to. Uh, oh, hey, I gotta chase you, don't I? Where's my bike? Oh. I'm definitely gonna have to move this monitor for the next stream because I can barely see. <laughs> it's. A, I mean, it's a good excuse. Yeah. For, for why you're uh, doing so well. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't died yet, right? That's true. Yeah. You have not died. Uh, what difficulty are you playing on? Normal. I was going to do Survival 2. <laughs> Don't judge.
I was no, going to no, do no. survival okay. too, but I'm like, you know, if we want to finish this game on stream, it's a very long game. It's true. Uh, let's try to do normal, get through it. Yeah, yeah. And then eventually, like I said, pop the platinum on here, which I may have to do some off streaming for that. Right, right. Uh, because, you know, there, there's games to play. There's games to play in 2022. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm being told to judge you. Oh, wow. Who's, telling, who's saying that? Uh, the notorious GKE. Greg. Yeah. Come on, yeah. man. We had lunch together. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, up, Greg? It's How all right. You? It's all right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Matt, Matt Langer did all the, the bike chase missions. Oh, nice. He was, he was one of our mission designers, too. Um, but he was kind of a hybrid. I, he started on some open world stuff, then he went over to missions, and then I just like kept using him for open world stuff. <laughs> <laughs> because he was so good with uh, scripting stuff for the motorcycle. Moobot picks up everything. Be careful out there, chat. Moobot's watching. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, guy. I, I'm sorry. We're just going to leave you here. That's, you know, that's the one thing. I, I always wonder what happens to those guys because, you know, Deacon calls it in. He's like, hey, I got your, I got your guy. Nope. And, then, uh, and then you just leave. Yeah. And you don't know what happens to him. Like, sorry, dude. I'm yeah. I mean, for all you know, he could get eaten Yeah. right as you're driving off. Like there's freakers in this world. Yeah, <laughs> you, got, you got paid. So, you know. Look at the atmosphere, though. Like, look at the fog. Holy it. crap. I love it. I love it when it rolls in. Yep. We, we, had a bug, we had a bug one time where the fog was just like 211 all over the world. And it felt like, it felt like, like I hit play and loaded into it, and, and it felt like Silent Hill. It was, it was kind of cool. Um, obviously, fairly unrealistic. But uh, did you press the nitrous button I, again? It's out of habit. I just, I'm used to it. You don't have nitrous. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> it's muscle memory, you know. I'm just, I always have a fully upgraded Ob bike. Obviously, you need to work out more then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you need to get off the bike more often. Uh, I know, I know. <laughs> Got to get some of those more Nero injectors into me. Mm -hmm. you know, in, like, Deacon just has no care. Just takes this injector. Let's put this into my body now. Yeah. Put it into my veins. Let's see what happens. Let's go. I mean, the, the alternative. Oh, look at all those hanging yeah, freakers. That's, that's crazy. Scary. Yeah. Those weren't there last time. Uh, oh, yeah. well, so who did it? It's probably people. The mystery. Yeah. It's cool. so probably marauders. Marauders. Trying to scare you from going into the tunnel. Yeah. Uh, you no, know, Deacon does not like marauders. No. No. No, he has some choice words. Yes, he has <laughs> about the marauders. <laughs> I don't think he likes them no. very much. Deacon, do you like marauders back there? No, he said no. <laughs> He's a man of few words, yeah. but when, when he doesn't like you, he lets you know about it. I mean, just and then he calls you out for, for the things that you do. Just look at his third look right now. He's just watching the stream like, you two are so stupid. I feel like he's watching us. Yeah. <laughs> it's getting a little creepy now I'm thinking about it. Yeah. And just imagine when you're not going to be here, and it's just going to be me, and it's just going to be me and Deacon. Is, that's when you talk to Deacon by yourself? Yeah. 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 I mean, like last week, you know, he was on my lap to open it, but then I s gently laid him on the floor, so he laid on the floor the rest of the stream. <laughs> the, the, the disrespect. <laughs> How could you do that to him? I know. I'm sorry. He, he forgave me. Our, our Lord and Savior. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Deacon, for all that you've done. <laughs> He's a gentleman and a saint. Where are you going? Um, are you back? to this rock. <laughs> <laughs> I always, I always love the landing damage tutorial because you're like, oh, I'm about to crash. <laughs> I'm about to hit something hard. <laughs> Where are we going? You know? Oh, we're going to go visit Sarah's memorial stone. Oh, I know. Rip. Which, you know, after this one, I think is this the only required one, and then the rest of them are optional, which yeah. can be easily missed. It, it can be. Yeah. Yeah. We. We didn't want to force you to go up there and do it because it, it, it feels weird to force you to pay respects. Like, who would put something on the screen to, to make you pay respects? <laughs> pay respects now. <laughs> um, uh, who thought of Deacon's self-commentary? It's, it's interesting how that kind of played out because, like, a lot of it is, like, you, you want to hear the, the character that you're playing reacting to stuff in the world. 
and commenting on things because you want to hear and and be part of like their their personality and and what their thoughts are and stuff. Um, a, a lot of the interpretation of of that was him kind of like slowly losing his mind, and I don't think that that was intentional. You know, I think that like there's a little bit of PTSD in there um, from his military time, and then like just being alone in this world, him commenting on everything to himself, I think that was kind of his way of, of coping with being alone for so often um, throughout the game. And so, like I said, I don't think it was intentional, but I think it was just kind of a happy accident of you starting to realize that like this dude's talking to himself a lot. He's, he has problems. He's angry, he's, he's got some issues. That's my license plate. Oh I'm yeah, sorry. look at that. <laughs> We uh, actually, I called out the last stream too, you, nice because you had the one in the tunnel. I didn't watch. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm <acceptable. laughs> I, I was here for most of it. Okay. I always, I always come in you and, just and lurk. try to. You I, just lurk. Well, I and and I try to troll you a little bit. You do just to keep you on your making toes. sure I'm behaving. Yeah. 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 By misbehaving myself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sam already left. But bye, Sam. Oh. Sam. Bye, bye Sam. Sam and Dan Hogan. Our QA guys here at Penn State, yeah. they have been here on every stream, I believe. I don't they're, know if they've missed they're one. They're awesome. They are. I love those guys. They're true friends. They, they really are. are. I'm not sure what I'm doing. I guess I'm just looking. <laughs> I'm grabbing some supplies. Got to get those supplies. Yeah. Yeah. Miss Behave, she's, uh, she's streamed some days gone before. Nice. If you're ever streaming Days Gone, go ahead and tag Ben Studio on Twitter. Sometimes I'll come on there and I'll lurk. Or sometimes I'll be like, hey, what is up? <laughs> it's always fun when I jump in people's streams. It's like, hi. And they're like, wait, Ben Studio? Hi, <laughs> how are you? That's awesome. <laughs> it's just, it's cool to see people playing the game. Yeah, it is. Like, you know, we spent a long time making this and playing it ourselves and then to see other people. Oh. Right? Well, did you see that dodge? That was that was good. That was you impressive. Got, you got some uh, juke skills. Hey, someone clip that dodge for me, please. <laughs> <laughs> I need that dodge clipped. That and was then, perfect. And, and then followed by another ten minutes of trying to kill that guy. <laughs> <laughs> you spent all of your skill energy on that first roll, and then <laughs> I gave it a my all. You know, that was it was most of it. Yeah. Oh, do you see me? No. Nope. You should sneak up behind him. I should, you know. Do it. Let's do it. Do it. Sneaky, sneaky, sneak, sneak, sneak. And oh, there's two of them. Stab. <laughs> is the, oh, other, no. one, is the other one going to see you, though? Oh, yeah, yep, no. you saw me. Okay. That was, that was I'm going to roll. Nice try. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to roll again. Because sometimes they like to, they get, they know your counters. Yeah. See, there it is. No, you can't catch me. Thanks, Razor. Appreciate the kind words. You can't catch me. I'm a gingerbread. It's good. Your bat's about to break. Uh, yes, it is. Yeah. Um, do I have the skill? Oh, to look at that. Spike bat. Spike bat. Spike bat. Let's 100%. go. Spike bat. Look at that. Ne the Negan has nothing on Negan. We we had so much fun. I, I'm not going to take any credit for it, but the team like coming up with all of the melee weapons was just so cool. We, we had some ridiculous ones. <laughs> I, the, the one that is made out of the motorcycle shock is probably one of my favorites. What is your favorite bat variant? Uh, I like the saw. I like putting the saw blade yeah. on the bat. That one that one was internally nicknamed the lollipop. Love it. Yeah. Love it. Scott Rohde came up with that one. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> I know he's watching, so I'd give him a shout out. Yeah, sure. <laughs> The lawnmower blade, that was a good one, too. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I've not looked at lawnmower blades ever, the same ever since then. <laughs> <laughs> I don't look at a lot of things the same after this. Caves. That's one of them. Yep, yep. Here we go. This is going to be a few minutes of distraction. <laughs> There's a way to disable this, though, isn't there? Yeah, you can turn the volume down on the, on the PS5. But, like, disable the recordings on the controller. Is yeah, I think just in, in the pause menu, you can switch it if yeah, you want. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. It's uh, audio. Audio. Speaker. Controller speaker. Off. There you go. It'll, 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 once it's done playing, right, right. It'll, it'll turn off. 
All right, let's go ahead and clear out these freakers with my... Oh, wait, I, I forgot I grabbed this gun. Oh, yeah. There is. Wow, this... Okay. She, she, I, that I, was I, bad. I think she died. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she died. Yeah, uh, I'm sure that, that's probably why you left. she left the radio behind. <laughs> Try to okay. get him in the head next time. Uh, you know, I was, I was trying. That was good. That was good. Oops. You know, see how they juke? It's like, just not fair. I like how he juked after you shot him. <laughs> after you Boom. missed. Oh, that guy's just gone. Yeah. He's yeah. crispy. Yeah. Fried yeah. chicken. But now I'm not. You know, I am hungry. Yeah. I, it's dinner time, huh? It is dinner time. Every week, about this time. <laughs> For the people that's been here every week, they're like, this guy talks about food every time around 6 o'clock. <laughs> I'm so hungry. There's two more. There are. So I'll sneak up on him. Up. Yeah, I like I like being Mr. Sneaky nice. St. John. Sneaky There's one Saint more. John. Sneaking. Sneaking, sneaking. Sneaking St. John. Sneaking and Deegan. Nice. Yeah. See. Boom. Nice. That was beautiful. I took your advice, you know, doing the headshots. That was good. Figured it'd probably help. Did you bring flowers? Um, I didn't. I'm hoping Deacon did. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's brought some before, I would assume. Jukes of Hazard. <laughs> nice, nice. That's a good one. What are your favorite loadouts? Um, I like to go with the Ch Chicago Chopper as my main. And then do the the SMP9 as a secondary. You get that for taking out four hordes. That's um, a good one, yeah. And honestly, that's the only secondary weapon you need once you get that. Yeah. And then usually I go with, uh, for the special, like the RD... RDP-40 or the MG-55 no. uh, for the hordes. Um, gets to a certain point in the in the story where it, the crossbow is just like, okay, I don't really need this anymore. I need the mm. heavy, heavy arsenal. What skill do you prioritize when upgrading? Stamina. Yeah. Because Deacon, like we said, he's out of shape. Yeah. Yeah, stamina's a good one. SMP-9, yeah. Chopper. And the MG55. Great minds think alike. Yep. And crossbow Perfect. for stealth. Keep the crossbow for stealth. Yep. Oh, the rock chuck. The rock chuck That's is a good, good one. So, do you, do you know why it's called the rock chuck? No. Explain. So, we have, we have these little uh, furry devil things here called yellow-bellied marmots. And you'll probably see them if you, like, drive down the old mill. You'll see them on the grass over there. Um, and they're also referred to as rock chucks. Ah. Interesting. That's where rock chuck comes from. And I think you get the rock chuck after you clear out the ambush storyline? I think so. Yeah, I believe you, you do that because it's, it's a suppress in the rock chuck yeah, uh, suppress. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, the specialized bolts. Yep. That was, that was, kind, of, that was kind of an homage to the, the MB-150 from Siphon Filter, having the interchangeable um, bolt types. And then we ended up adding the MB-150 from Siphon Filter. And Which is so much fun. Yeah. Because it has like the sleet dart. Yep. Um, and the it's the trophy. Exploding dart. Yeah. I love the Siphon Filter Easter eggs. With yeah. the skin. Those, those were fun. The weapon. Yeah. Um, the, the stun the stun gun. The taser. Yeah. That's, that's that was, fun. Yeah. You just get to see a freaker just get electrocuted and <laughs> burn on fire. It was, it was fun recreating that. That was uh, Jeff Hammond that helped with that. That was awesome. The residue b bolts. Yeah, that's a good go-to bolt. Yeah, those are good. Yeah, in camps. Yeah, you bring some of those to the ambush camps. So I assume most, most everyone here has played Days Gone, but has anyone had a chance to play Days Gone on PC? Do you have Days Gone on PC? Or do you not have Days Gone on PC? Because if you don't have it, I might be able to rearrange that. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I don't, can I? I don't. No, I have it. I'm just kidding. You do have it. I do have yeah. it. Yeah. Which, that was also cool when I came in. and That was good timing. Yeah. <laughs> like, came in right for Days Gone PC, Days Gone Anniversary. It was just Days Gone Madness. And you got to help launch Days Gone on PC. Yes. 
in my first technical launch, but yeah. not really. <laughs> <laughs> it counts. I will get on PC after I buy a PC. Yeah, yeah. I don't have a PC. Really Steam, want a Steam Deck. Steam Deck for Days Gone. It runs very well. That's that's the rumor I've heard. Yep. <laughs> Phil, did someone say ambush camps? <laughs> yep. Phil Wilson in the chat, Magma Lemur. He uh, he put together all the ambush camps in the game. Hats off. Or Deacon. Chopper, SMP9, and 50 BFG. Mm -hmm. Good loadout. Good loadout. Taser, this, question mark. This scene here, Sam Whitworth's uh, performance right there. That's really good. Yeah, so good. I got so, my gaming PC just for days going. Nice. Oh, Janelle. That's, <laughs> yep, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so for those that don't know about the Taser, um, uh, the Taser was kind of a, a staple of the Siphon Filter franchise, and, and you could electrify people, and then if you held it long enough, they would light on fire and get electrocuted and die. Um, we ended up putting that in Days Gone as kind of an Easter egg. So if you go around to all of the Nero checkpoints uh, and the Nero sites, um, kind of the secondary Nero sites, uh, you can pick up a piece of IPCA technology, which was from, from Siphon Filter, that was their organization. And they're on the, the white suit, kind of like O'Brien there. They're on the white suit, Nero corpses. Uh, and if you collect all of those... It's nine, I believe, right? Yeah, and then if you finish the game and play the last uh, and complete the Nero storyline, uh, then you can craft the taser, and then you can go out there and electrocute and fry some freakers. It's very fun. It is, I highly it recommend is. it. The facial expressions in this game are chef's kiss, for sure. Yes. Yeah, hats off to um, our animation team and, and the team down at VASG. They uh, they were super helpful in help getting us uh, all the cinematics. Uh, Gate color. I picked it up, picked up days going on PC last week when it's half off on Steam. Heck Good yeah. idea. Nice. Good idea. Well, in case anyone wants, uh, if anyone doesn't have days going on PC, uh, first one to get it. Did that pop through? Oh wait, I gotta click it. I'm gonna go ahead. First come, first serve. There's there you go. Code. There's Days Gone Steam code right there for anyone who hasn't played it. Or if you have someone who, if you have a friend that hasn't played it, go ahead. Free code. Go act, get it. Act fast. Act fast. Go, go, go. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, it's so much fun. Uh, it's, if you have an ultra-wide monitor for... Uh, especially for oh PC, gosh. it's uh, it's a game changer. It is like it's even a more immersive experience. I bought one just uh, for Days Gone, and literally that's the only time I've used that on my phone. Worth it. Yep. <laughs> I love the flashbacks, seeing the old Nell I know, and, I and know. Pilot Butte in the background. Super cool. Yeah, whoever takes the code, too, let us know. Let us know if you get it. We'd love to uh, wish you good luck. Which is cool now seeing that scene and being mm -hmm. here and seeing the old mill all the, right. all the time. Yeah, it's got, it's got a new meaning for you. Yeah, just playing this game has a whole new meaning because, like, the mountains and everything. Right, I'm like, right. I, I, I see that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? When Boozer says that, oh my, yeah, my heart so good. I remember the the one tweet I put out like forever ago was that like what did you do? But I captioned mm -hmm. it like after I left the kitchen, like my wife comes in. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome, dude. I, I had some bangers with Days Gone tweets. I'm not gonna lie, good. you know. I I I, I missed them all because I didn't follow you. I guess. Yeah, you know, <laughs> the last one at Ben Studio follow me, but whatever. <laughs> I just, I just wanted you to appreciate it that much more. And I did, you, you know? know. But you you earned my respect back because you were controlling the Ben Studio account for a little bit. That's true. And that's where I got the follow from Ben and be I, before I, I yep, joined. Yep. That was, that was me uh, <laughs> asking for forgiveness <laughs> for not having followed you sooner. <laughs> we're, we're even. 
Thank you, maybe. Redeem game suggestion. Who redeemed the game suggestion? Is that Ninja? This is Radio Free Oregon. It looks like it. She'll set you free. Is this still the only game that does the cool screen capture for certain trophies? That was, uh, all, that was all you. That was all you. Yeah, so uh, there's a wolf. There's a there's a wolf. You're, there's a wolf coming up at you. Oh, yeah. hi, wolf. Oh, so, just, I'm so sorry. I, I, I apologize, wolf. I'm so sorry. You just knocked him over. <laughs> I tried to use nitrous too. So yeah, I saw that. That just made it worse. I was gonna comment on it, but I've I've given you enough crap for it. <laughs> um, no, I don't think that we're the only studio that has used the screen capture thing for the trophies. Um, I think that Insomniac actually did it for the boss missions in Spider-Man PS4. Oh, nice. Um, I, I don't know if they did it after that. I don't, I don't know if they did it for Miles on PS4. I platinum um, Miles too. I, I can't really remember. Did you do it on PS4? No. Okay. No, I didn't. It, it, as far as I know, that makes sense. please somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that PS4, um, the PS5 doesn't do the the scripted screen captures yet. Um, but on PS4, yeah, I'm pretty sure Insomniac did it on Spider-Man, uh, specifically for the boss battles, because um, they they were always really cool screenshots of of fighting the the enemies. But uh, aside from Aside from that and us, I, yeah, I don't know too many people that took advantage of it. Someone got the Days Gone code? Awesome. Hope you enjoy Sweet. it. Have oh, somebody said Call of Duty uses it as well. That's cool. Oh, awesome. nice. Awesome. Good. Have you watched Sam Whitworth stream this game? Of course. Yeah. He's great. He's, uh, <laughs> he's, he's so funny. I would watch him do anything. Yeah. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's, he's very entertaining. He's, uh, oh, I wonder if that's that same sniper that got you in the beginning. It, it's his revenge. Yeah, yeah. Because you didn't. Circle wow, of life. you really messed up your bike. Wow, dude, that's crazy. You're about to get got. No, I'm, I'm, I'm going to yeet them across here. Ready, watch. Oh, sorry. Oh, no. Sorry. Oops. You got her. I'm the master of rolling tonight. Maybe not shooting, <laughs> but rolling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 we're still reloading. Sorry. Oh, boom. And one more. You know, I could just <laughs> hit this guy with the bat. You, you could. I also don't know how you got that last headshot. I don't either. That was uh, Roll some, because. some forgiveness on our part. <laughs> there, okay. Let's heal up real quick. All right, sniper. Me you, and you again. Are you going to do this? I'm going to do this. I'm going to run behind that big rock right there. And you don't think you can get so, him from here? I bet right, you, only I bet you could. I think All you right, can. All right. I think you should do it with, with a different gun, though. Uh, Boom. Wow, that was... I'm done. That was that's it. We're done stream. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was good. I'm, Thank I'm, you. I'm impressed. Thank you. Thank now, you. Now, now let's go fix your bike. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, you got some scrap. Yeah, can't forget my uh, to fix your bike. My tip earlier and loot all the bodies. Where's the one I blew in the chest over here? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. It's it's a brutal uh, she has, world. She has scrap too. It's a brutal world out here. Yeah. The laser sights drive me crazy. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And it is still 50% off on Steam. Yes, it is. There you go. Or or 100% off for the person that got the code. Yeah, 100% off for the person who got the code. Yeah, uh, the 50% off sale is only for two more days. So if you want it, now would be the time to get it. Because it's 50% off, which is the biggest sale we've had so far for PC. Wow. Yeah. All right. Look at that. Look at that. Is that Jefferson? Supposed to be Jefferson, that mountain? That's a good question. Hmm. I'm not I'm not good at mountains. To me, if because that <laughs> I, one over I, there is Bachelor, right? Yeah, yeah. And then isn't the sisters in here too? I was trying to do this I last think so, week. Yeah. Oh, oh, trying to name all the mountains. Yeah. Yeah. I know the mountains like for real life. I can name them in real life. Yeah. Yeah. But on here I was I was getting a little lost. It it it's hard because like we didn't we didn't try 100% to recreate their, like, their positions in the world. <laughs> wow. That was... Wow. That was bad. Yeah. Oh, so sorry, Deacon. I apologize. So, like, in the, in the real Oops. world, it's easy to spatially recognize them when you're driving around. Um, but, yeah, it's a little bit harder in here. Will you stream the challenge modes? Yeah, we will stream the challenge modes. Uh, we'll probably finish the story first. And then we'll jump into some of those because those are always fun to play. You should, you should repair and refill your bike. 
Yeah, look, it's red fuel. Like, I had nothing left. Yeah. Jeez, Kevin. Yeah, that that railing got me. Did you see the sun went down? I did. The day's gone. <laughs> nice. Nice. It took me a second to process that. <laughs> it's because it's, it's you're probably hungry. It yeah. is, you know. Also, you're not going to invite me back. <laughs> <laughs> I spent a lot of brain cells this week. I've, I've been busy. So it's, yeah, yeah. it's the end of Friday. That's what I love about ending the week with these two. It is a nice way to finish off the yeah. week. Yeah. Oh, this way. I'm going to go this way. Yeah, I told Chat last week we're going we're gonna to bring on a few, a couple uh, Ben Studio devs that have worked on Days Gone. You being the first one. It wasn't even planned. It wasn't planned. Yeah, yeah. You, you. Wow. You had your. Are, are you gonna? Are you gonna kill him? Uh, I'm or? trying. Okay. <laughs> you got him. You're good. Where, oh, the, oh okay. yeah. He's gone. Cool. Good job. Yeah, thanks. The helicopter's gonna get away. Oops. There's that's, a, there's, that's a log. Yeah. Let's go this way. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been taking driving driving lessons from Janelle again? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Janelle. <laughs> she 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 knows. She does. She hits a lot of trees. Yeah. It's the Sunil trees. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? You know, I can get, to, I can go this way. I you think. Can, yeah. Yeah, I'm good. Just, just, it'll, it'll. Yeah, it correct itself. Yeah. Recalculating. I was trying to follow Siri, you know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that was your problem. <laughs> <laughs> that is all of our problems. <laughs> we follow Siri too much. Yeah. Sorry. We we called out Janelle. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But we, we gave you an awesome like title in the beginning, so. That's true. Can you forgive us? Yeah. <laughs> Dead parade. Uh, the Days Gone theme on the PS4 is awesome. Oh, for sure. There's a, there's a bunch of them, too. There's it, like four or five. Yeah, we gave out the old Sawmill one last anniversary. Yes. Um, yeah, that was a good one. Which that is, was, that was kind snows, of an exclusive and one. It rains, yeah. yeah. So yeah. we were actually, yeah, we gave that out. Uh, it was like one day only for uh, anyone who redeemed it. I yeah. redeemed one myself because I didn't have it. Nice. I'm glad you got it. Yeah. Uh, what about voice actors? Will they be showing up in the stream? We'll see. We'll yeah. see. That would be cool. Yeah, we're planning, scheduling. I still saw that game suggestion, but I didn't see anything pop up. Yeah. Maybe maybe it maybe it went to like my uh, the Ben Studio Twitter account. I gotta look. So whoever did the game suggestion, I will dig into that and see what you actually suggested. Kev, did you get a drifter bike yet? No, but I do want to go take the motorcycle class this year. You should. Um, and join all these other other awesome Ben Studio folks who have motorcycles because I want to be part of the cool kids club. Do you, I want to be part of it. You're, you're an honorary member of the Cool Kids Club right now. I would love yeah. to have, to get a custom fuel tank based oh, off man. of one of the designs. That would be cool. Right? I, I am sure you could commission Katie Scott. Katie, to, are to you still paint, here? <laughs> yeah. Katie, are you in the chat? I will commission you. <laughs> do you, do you want to paint on Kevin's bike? <laughs> it's that or I'm going to do it. And I don't know if he'll be as happy. <laughs> I used to I used to consider myself an artist, but I just stopped, and uh, I, I it's been a little while. Gasp! Yes, I'll paint it. There we go. Oh, Done. Yes, <laughs> Katie, you're the best. <laughs> now I have to go take the class, and then buy a bike, and then buy a bike, <laughs> and then decide which you want to paint on it. <laughs> I'll get there. I'll get back to you, Katie. I'll get back to you. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, Days Gone is um, it is on Steam Deck, and it runs very well, is what some of our guys here at Ben Studio have said. I haven't had a chance to personally play it yet. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I think my Steam Deck's coming pretty soon. Uh, I got an email for it recently, so um, yeah, once once I have mine, maybe we can uh, show Days Gone running on it. Do I have... Oh, you know what? I just saw the time here. So let's go ahead and get these freakers. I was about to just call them a different name for some reason. <laughs> Lady in red, I read a Yamaha V Star 650. Nice. That's awesome. I've got a um, Triumph Bonneville uh, 1200 that I ended up picking up last year. I've also got a bunch of bikes that are in pieces in my garage that I need to put back together. You want to you hand me one there? You know? One, one that's in pieces? 
I mean, fix it up <laughs> first, then give it to me. <laughs> I mean, I can give it to you in pieces, and that's then you'll be uh, very, that, you'll be more proud and uh, appreciative. Of that's it a learning if, process. If you, you know. put it back together yourself, yeah, for yeah. sure. These little these little guys are creepy. Yeah, they they should not be able to do this. I I like the backpack nude. Yeah. It's it's fun. Should have had a collector's edition statue of the backpack nude. That would have been cool. Right. Yeah. Oh, he's still running. Usually he, he usually I get him over there. Sorry. I mean, he's, he's just a little guy. He, but he's a freaker. Yeah, but he took your radio. He did. And you got it back. And you took his ear. Because bounties. Bounties. Deacon likes his bounties. He does. News are pretty obnoxious. Yeah. They're fun though. <laughs> yeah. I hate the one where you're helping Ricky with the light pole and they're jumping yeah, from the yeah. gas station roof. Uh, Jadis Drums has a four speed Huffy from Kmart. That's oh, impressive. That's, yeah. Because I, I just read the other day that there's like only two Kmarts left. So uh, pour one out for Kmart. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Since we just um, now looking at the time, it's 629. We're going to go ahead and do our usual end this with a photo mode shot. And then I think we'll pick up with a cutscene right when our, our next our next stream. Oh man, I don't I don't know if I've ever watched you do photo mode in person. Really? I don't think so. Huh? This is this is like watching uh, Picasso paint <laughs> paint a paint a picture. Like this is I'm I'm excited. Good. I'm glad. Yeah. So for anyone who doesn't like photo mode, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> This is kind of, uh, this is my thing. Photo mode is my thing. So it, It's what started it all. Yeah, it did. You know. And now, days gone, yeah, it started my photo mode craze. So now I just kind of do this all the time. It's a good way. I mean, us at Ben Studio, we love photo mode. We love seeing photo yeah, mode captures. Yeah. So um, just a good way to kind of end it. Go ahead and add some contrast a little bit, a little bit of brightness. Always focus on, uh, you know, your subject. So, like, focus on Deacon to where you have little bushes here, uh, you know, blurred out. You get a nice balance of uh, foreground exactly. and background elements. Give a little blue, cool. get a little blue temperature there with the sky. Don't want to do too much because then the bottom of your picture there by his pants will be blue. And with Days Gone, I like the more, uh, I don't know what, the rustic approach, like, a little less saturation, doesn't need to be so full and vibrant just because of the world it lives in. Little vignette, which I really don't use too much, honestly, but sometimes it adds a little something. And then go ahead and kind of mess with the bloom because that's a little too much. I like them a little darker. But yeah, just quick, quick and dirty. Hide it. Make sure I... I will always screw up and press the wrong button and exit out of the photo mode. <laughs> why, why would you do that? I know. So there we go. So we'll save this. I'll post this uh, somewhere, probably I, my personal page. Do you want to try? I, do you want to end it? I kind of want to do it. I kind of want to take a picture. All right. It, we have Eric I, Jensen taking a picture. Can I exit out of this one? Oh, yeah. You're okay, good. Okay. You're good. Cool. Um, I mean, this is, this is a beautiful shot right here. I kind of... Yeah. Uh, a lot of people kind of, you know. I kind of want to go down here by the bike, though. Just don't activate the cutscene. I would do that, huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll stand up. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna tilt this one. I think I'm gonna. Ooh, oh, oh, too far, too far, oh, too far. Oh, whoa, too far. <laughs> oh, oh. Rex name drop. I don't see him in the chat tonight, but yeah, he's he's awesome. He does really cool uh, days gone gameplay bits. Be adding that siphon filter bike in there. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. Yeah. That's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Just get that. Hey, yeah. thanks for stopping by, dog man. Yeah, we'll see you next week. Same time. Have a great weekend, Phil. Bye, Phil. Have a good one. We'll bring Phil on soon. He'll he'll be on stream soon. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a preset. Oh. See I since it's on, you know, this account, I don't have my don't save have, presets. You don't have all your fancy yeah. ones. Yeah. 
vintage. That's that's my go-to. I love that one. It's yeah. my go-to. I think that's I think that's my shot. I like it. Thank I like you. it. Thank you. Yeah. Now you made it vertical, so it's like it's gonna be hard to post two at the same time. It's okay. <laughs> Here you go, Kevin. <laughs> All right. Controller's nice and warm. Yeah. Wow. It is warm, isn't it? <laughs> so let's go ahead. We're we're gonna stop there. I clicked the right one. <laughs> you did it. You could, good that job. Was, that was nerve wracking. That was, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's all it's all pedal controlled. Now. Yeah. Yeah. I've got this nice uh, Elgato pedal uh, provided by the awesome folks at Elgato, and uh, I'm using it for the very first time. And I I'm afraid I'm going to keep pressing the wrong one. Thank you. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, it's always awesome. That you know, chat. You are seriously cool. Thank you for always showing up and seeing my face every single week. I'm so sorry for that. <laughs> but we got to see Eric's face today, so that, that helps. So I'm, I'm also sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, thank you, Eric. Thank you for joining me. Yeah, thanks, Kevin. It was ha awesome having you on. Did you, did you enjoy yourself? You like I, it? I did. Good. I did. It's, it says, don't be a stranger. I won't be a stranger. Yeah, see, you tell him, I, I will be here uh, whenever you guys want me to be here. In a few weeks, right? In a few weeks. I think so. We've got, you know, like a Days Gone anniversary coming up. That's true. We kind of have to stream that I'll, day. I'll be there. Yeah, have yeah. to stream that day. Yeah, that'll be awesome. April 26th. Three years. Three years. Three years. Mark where, it down. Where has the time gone? Name shout out, Ali Reza Game GG. Name shout out and virtual high five because Heck I yeah. do both of those. Yes. So, yeah, All that's right. it. We'll continue part three of our Days Gone playthrough next Friday at 5 p.m. Pacific time right here on twitch.tv slash Ben Studio. Um, if you miss them, they are on demand on Twitch for a little time, but we're also, they're also on our YouTube channel uh, at Ben Studio. So we hope to see you all again next week, and have a great weekend, everyone. See you guys. Deacon out. <laughs>